All right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to talk about Unreal assets today and importing them into Blender so you can use them anywhere. Unreal has a lot of really swell assets for free. And if you go over to the marketplace here and then click on free, you can browse all this stuff is for free. And a lot of the stuff isn't too expensive for the worth you get out of it, actually. But the thing is, if you want to use these assets in anything besides the Unreal Engine, then it's going to have to undergo some sort of transformation process because of Unreal's proprietary format. Now, this has been done several times before with FBX, but that's kind of a pain because you usually have to end up reassigning the materials. We're going to skip through that with the secret sauce being GLTF is now very straightforward. So we're going to go to the library. Uh, you can see I've already downloaded that one, that Japanese building asset here. I've created an empty sandbox scene, which is just a default scene in Unreal, and this is it. Um, if you go down to the content drawer, you can see the files of the project. I'm going to open a content browser right here. That way we can see everything. So going back to here, we're going to add to project, pick the project, by the way, if you're trying to import this asset into a project whose version doesn't match, you can hit show all projects. I don't have any others, but say you had installed 5.2 preview, which is available now, you can try and get it in there and, you know, it'll probably warn you. Uh, that said, we'll just add this to project and you can see it working down here. There we go. It's in the project now and we can confirm that. Now you see this folder here has been added to this project. So like most assets, there's a nice demo scene to this one. I'm going to go here and just double click on that. And that loads it in very nice so we're going to ch check this building out right here we're going to get this building into blender uh, something to note is if you went to the other individual meshes you could do the same thing with them if you wanted to build something in blender as opposed to doing it like this but we're going to export the building because that'll be a nice demonstration so over here on the right you'll see that this uh, has already been grouped for you like the buildings are a group actor and that's unreal's kind of equivalent to a collection, I think. So if you were to click on this, you know, it selects all of the actors in that group. Actors just, I think, is Unreal's way of saying object, but there's probably more to it. Anyway, if you wanted to do that yourself and it were not already done, or you were doing some regrouping, after you select the items that you want in a group, you can go up to Tools, and then go down to Merge Actors right here, and that would merge it into a single mesh that you could export. So we've selected this building. I'm gonna to go to Export Selected, and we're going to create a folder for the asset because it's going to have a bunch of files, of course. And let's just name this. And we don't want FBX. We want GLTF. Now, one thing you want to make sure you pick the first GLTF, not the binary. The difference is the binary is going to have everything packed into, you guessed it, a binary. And this format will just export the textures separately as images, which will allow Blender to keep them separate and map everything for you when you import it. That's what's so awesome about this. And also, obviously, if you wanted to edit the textures themselves, this would make it uh, straightforward. So we're going to pick that format, save. And this pops up for you. I don't think we need a preview mesh, so I'm going to uncheck that. The rest of this I just leave. Okay, and it's giving us a few warnings here. That's one thing that's always going to be the case if Unreal has a proprietary format. There might be some features to the format that aren't necessarily perfectly translatable. This is just saying, you know, maybe you want to recompute normals. We know we can do that in Blender. Nothing major here. So I'm just going to close that. And here's the folder it extracted to. So you can see what it's done is it's exported uh, the GLTF files here. And here we go, all of those nice textures separately. So that way we can mess with them and map them as we please. So we're going to import that into Blender. Let's open up Blender. All right, let's get rid of the default cube just because it's Blender. Import GLTF, and then we're going to navigate to that folder, which is here. And just pick that GLTF file, import. There we go. So FBX will get you this far, but the nice thing here is the textures are already mapped. We can show that by going to Material here. And voila. And let's just take a look at some of those. So we can see over here in the shader editor, whatever one's selected over here, you can see it's mapping to those textures that we saw in that folder, and it can do whatever you want. So one thing that's worth mentioning up here is that it does not import them as a collection, but that's very minor. I believe you can just delete this. This is that group actor, which is, I believe, the Unreal object that was holding the group. You can just delete that, 
because it's specific to Unreal. And I would typically just add a new collection. Just name it after whatever. And then just put all of the meshes that you just imported into that collection and that'll keep it organized, especially when you got a lot of objects like this. So we're just gonna drag those in here. And there you go, now you've got it all organized as well. So one other thing just to demonstrate, I'm gonna switch this over to cycle so we get a little better representation. And to do that first, I'm gonna add some uh, lights. So for that, I'm just gonna add a plane, no typical stuff here, material with an emission on it. That'll work, you know, work much better for cycles. Pick the light color, something a little sunny, sunset-ish would be fitting. And then up the emission strength, whatever. And I'm going to quickly put a few of these around just to give it some three-point lighting. Not going to go crazy with it. Okay, so now that we've got the lights in place, then the cycles will actually look decent. So I'm going to switch to cycles and then to the render preview. And there we go. Up the strength here for the lights if we want to get a little more. And you know what, let's just do a render so we can see it. And there we go. Pretty sweet.